We're at Corcoran Vineyards in Loudoun County, Virginia with Lori Corcoran, co-owner with her husband Jim and the winemaker here. And I'm with Mary Watson de Lauder, who is uh, someone known as the wine goddess of Loudoun County, perhaps, but a uh, famous sommelier and champion of Virginia wines who is going to show us how herbs in your food will affect the flavor of the wine. Mary? Actually, most often the, the smallest ingredient in the actual dish that you're doing is the one that makes the biggest impact on the wine itself. And in this instance, it really is the herbs. The way you cook the food is one of the things that, that makes it different, but the way you season it is usually the biggest thing about pairing food and wine. So it's not so much white wine with white meat as white wine with certain seasonings. Um, actually, that, that's it right there. Uh, we used to think that white wine with fish and red wine with meat, and that was a safe thing. And it's still safe, but it just ta it isn't taking it to where you should be going with that. Okay, so what uh, do we now, have here? This is this is a Riesling here. Okay. Take a little sip. Which Lori made. Yes, I made. Right, <laughs> it's so. one and a half percent and residual, so there's a little bit of sweetness. It's an off-dry Riesling. Mm -hmm. You see this is very crisp and very clean and you can taste the acidity right back here. It's really it's it really is a very refreshing wine. Mm -hmm. Now taste this is lime basil and taste lime that basil. now. Mm. This is a basil that you're gonna it does see. Smell very lime. You're gonna <laughs> see really more good. and more of this basil. Sure. And this actually works incredibly well with Sauvignon Blanc, especially from New Zealand. So you're supposed to eat the whole thing? Mm -hmm. The whole thing. Okay. I'm getting um Lime Very pronounced basil. lime <laughs> flavor Flavors. here on, on my palate. Not so much basil. basil I'm not sure I would I'm not sure I would recognize that, say, for a pest. Oh, it might make a very nice pest. Oh, it makes a kick that killer pest. <laughs> That's all right. This is the internet. We can say anything. <laughs> okay. So now we have the lime on our palate. Yep. Now taste the Riesling. It actually narrowed the focus, took away that the residual sugar that was there. It pretty much took most of that away. And, and I'm I'm getting more of a zestiness to the wine, which is the lime showing yeah. through, which reminds me of some of the exciting rieslings from our northern neighbors up in New York. Yep. But um, and it, I'm not sure I agree with you totally that it took the sugar away, but it, it sort of rounded it out, and it's it's given it almost a. Uh, a fatter mouthfeel right. to me. It's, it's, it's made the wine a little bigger. Not taking it away is maybe that is not exactly where I was going with that, but it, it takes a back seat. Yeah. The acidity yeah, and that really crisp, clean fruit is on the forefront right now. And now I'm getting basil on the finish. See? <laughs> the, 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 the herb is coming back. Yeah. Let's try one more herb with this. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right. Let's follow her into the garden. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And this would be... This is fresh dill. dill. Okay. And I just picked way more than we needed. <laughs> if we want some salmon. <laughs> okay. It flattens it out mm -hmm. some. And and they and and actually the sweetness is right on the forefront again, yes. mm -hmm. and it took away some of the acidity. Right. It really did. It flattened it out so, and it took away some of that fruit too. So by by taking it away, that's um, are you saying maybe that riesling and dill is not such a good combination, mm -hmm. or or that's just that actually just... I have to tell you this is for you to decide. Basically, I preferred it with that citrus accent that we just had because I thought that really made this wine shine mm -hmm. and this doesn't. Yeah, the and dill if took I were away. presenting this and I was doing a wine dinner, I don't think I'd want to do dill with this. Okay. And and you know you can but but the thing is from wine to wine this is gonna vary. And if you have anything growing in your garden at all, if you're cooking dinner and you know what herb you're gonna use I would actually taste that with the wine and see how you feel about that, even even while you're doing your dinner, and see if it's if you think it's going to work for you. It's 
good excuse to keep running down to the wine cellar. Excuse me? <laughs> Do we need I'm an excuse? I'm thinking so, yes. yes. Well, before we go, is there um, any other guidance you can have? Maybe just, uh, do you have any sort of um, quick reference to what herbs do or do not pair well with a certain wine? Tarragon, above all else, works great with almost every wine. Tarragon is an incredibly wine-friendly herb. So that's the magic bullet oh, in your it, garden. Oh, and it, it, it's, for me, it definitely is. Because there, it, it, um, if you take a Chardonnay, uh, it broadens that middle and makes it um, uh, a, a much more expansive wine than it, than it really has to be. Even the ones that are citrus-based with no oak, really, it, there's just a bigger middle there. And we'll try that with the Chardonnay that we have coming up, because I've got that here. So we'll do a citrus, and then we'll do the tarragon. But tarragon goes incredibly well with Riesling and with a Pinot Noir. But think about this. And also, when you're doing Chardonnay, too, think about this. Uh, Bernay sauce, main ingredient, tarragon. Sure. And tarragon with, like, lobster major with the with the Bernay sauce and then the other side of that is tarragon with a filet there to me there's almost no combination better than a filet with Bernays and a killer pinot I mean, it just it's one of those matches made in heaven kind of thing there you have it a recipe <laughs> for your next dinner party from Mary Watson DeLauder and Lori Corcoran at Corcoran Vineyards thank you you are so gonna have to edit <laughs>